Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divi Nation. Divi Nation is a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes, a proud leader in the premium WordPress theme and plugin market. As always, the goal of Divi Nation is really simple. We want to provide you with the knowledge, insights, and supportive community that you need to be successful with WordPress and Divi. I'm your host, Nathan B. Weller, and as your host, it's my job to facilitate that success. So to that end, in today's Divi Nation short, I'll be showing you how to add the Divi Builder to custom post types and third-party plugins. This is something a lot of people have requested in the past, and I'm really excited to get into it, so let's get into it. In this Divi Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to add the Divi Builder to custom post types and third-party plugins that are using custom post types. So it's important to note, however, right here at the top of the video that this method will not work with every single custom post type out there or with every third-party plugin using custom post types. This is because we've made the Divi Builder to only work out of the box in environments where we know it will perform flawlessly. Outside of those constraints, things begin to get more complex and we can't possibly account for every kind of custom post type variation uh, in a single snippet. So if you're using a plugin that has custom post types that you'd like to add the builder to, or if you'd like to create your own custom post types and use the builder on them, uh, I need to stress a few points before we move on with this tutorial. First, back everything up. Second, use a child theme. Third, you're gonna wanna test this method on a staging or dev site. Don't use your live site. Four, if this method of adding the Divi Builder to your specific custom post type does not work as you see it done in this video, that's likely a good indication that your specific case will require custom development. So that's something that we won't be able to do uh, in the comment section. Okay, so with all of the important notices and caveats behind us, let's go ahead and add the Divi Builder to some custom post types. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you two different custom post types that I've added the Divi Builder to, one that everyone will be familiar with, and then one that opens the door to endless possibilities with custom post types that you create yourself. So first up, we're going to add the Divi Builder to a WooCommerce product. So here you can see a WooCommerce product that looks uh, as it looks normally without the Divi Builder uh, added onto it. And then we can check out what it looks like with the Divi Builder activated. So here in the product description, you can see we have a text module and three image modules inside it. Now this is gonna be the case with any uh, custom post type that you add the Divi Builder to. Whatever the constraints of that template uh, are, that those are the constraints within which the Divi Builder is gonna to have to function. So um, we're not getting these big, wide, full section pages. We're working here within this template but we're getting to use Divi Builder modules. Okay, so here's how you actually do it. The first thing you need to do is copy the PHP code snippet that we've provided in the accompanying blog post. So if you're watching this video via YouTube or Facebook, you're gonna wanna check the video description for a link to that post. Once you've copied that snippet, you're gonna to wanna to navigate in your WordPress admin to Appearance, Editor. Now this is where having the child theme um, installed is really important because you don't want to do this on your regular theme because when you update uh, your parent theme, it'll just get wiped out. So go to your child themes functions.php file and you're going to want to paste that snippet right there in the bottom. So this is the snippet that you're going to um, paste and right here where it says post types, um, mine says product and book because those are the two that I've already added for this example um, in your snippet. Um, it's going to say your CPT here and another CPT here. So I actually put product because that's the name of the post type for WooCommerce products. And I know that because when you go to products, add product, something pretty cool happens here in the URL. It actually tells you post type equals product. So I can go and paste or just write product right here. And that's going to add um, the Divi Builder to that custom post type. So for this first round, this first example, that's all I really want to do. So I will click save or update. And now when I go to any 
new product, I have the option to use the Divi Builder. And again, I can show you that on the front end, or I can show you the back end rather, of, a, uh, of the one that I already have. And you can see that I've used the Divi Builder here uh, to create a text module and my three image modules. And that's how it appears on the front. And I can continue to build that out however I want within that area. Okay, so that is our first example. But there's one more thing that I want to show you, one more uh, application of uh, this snippet. And I, I think this is uh, going to be really exciting to some of you. So I want to show you how you can create your own custom post types and then use the Divi Builder on them. Okay, so to do that, you need to download a plugin from the WordPress repository called Custom Post Type UI. So we can do that together here by going to uh, Plugins, Add New in your WordPress admin. And using the search feature here, just type in custom post type. And right here you see custom post type UI. I already have it installed, but you'll want to click install. When you do and when you activate it, you're going to notice a new menu pop up over here in your WP admin sidebar. And it's going to say CPT UI. That's custom post type UI. And you're going to want to click on add slash edit post types. So when you do this, um, this is a, first of all, this is a really complex plugin. There are a lot of things that you can do with this plugin and I won't even be able to really scratch the surface um, in this video. But for the purposes of this video, all you really need to do is fill out these three um, spaces here. And I've already done that. So earlier I created a books post type and my post slug is, my post type slug is book. My plural label is books and my singular label is book. And then um, you click save post type or if you're creating it for the first time, you'll click add post type. And as you can see right here under projects, I have a books post type and I can go to add new. Now when I do that, you'll notice that I already have the option to use the Divi Builder. Um, I'm able to do that because right up here, you can see that the title or the name of my post type is book. And if we go back to appearance editor, theme functions or functions.php, back to our original PHP snippet, I already added book right here. And you can do this over and over again. You can add as many of these as you want. Um, on the version that I've already created, what I've done is I have my title, I'm using the Divi Builder, and I've decided to put an image right here of the book itself, a text blurb, and a button for people to buy that book. And this is what it looks like on the front end. So if you're paying close attention, you might notice something about this output. Um, this builder content is not actually taking up the entire width of this, uh, this post container. And so what I'd like to do, um, what I recommend you do to fix this is grab the other snippet that we've provided you in the blog post. It's a CSS snippet that kind of resolves this issue. So copy that snippet to your clipboard and go to Divi theme options scroll all the way down to the custom CSS area and go ahead and paste that snippet right up there at the top. Now the snippet that you will copy will have the words instead of a uh, single dash book as it, as my example has, it'll say post type. So you're going to use the commented hints that I've put in there to replace post type with the slug for your new custom post type that you've created. In my case, it's book. Once you've done that, you're going to want to click save changes. And I actually have to uncomment mine for it to show up. And once you do that, you can go back to the front end, refresh the page, and you'll now have sort of a normal looking builder post, but it'll be a custom post type uh, that you're able to add your own taxonomies to, create your own archive page, and really do a lot of cool stuff that with this use case um, of the snippet, the CSS, um, the PHP snippet, the CSS snippet, and the custom post types UI plugin, man, the possibilities really start to become endless, especially when you um, combine that with the Divi library and your ability to create layouts per custom post type, save them to the library, and then you never have to edit a PHP template. All you have to do is just load your, um, 
load your layout per custom post type. Well, that's all for this episode of Divi Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to reading and responding to your feedback. Uh, before signing off, I just want to thank Dustin Falgau and Nick Roach for contributing code to this quick tip. If you have questions about anything we covered in this episode, feel free to drop those questions in the comments section wherever you're watching or listening to this episode, whether that's on Facebook, YouTube, or our blog, and I will do my best to follow up with you in a timely manner. You can also email me directly at podcast at elegantthemes.com. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, and I will see you around the community. As always, I'll be back next week with another episode of Divination.